I've opened up Pack Machine Edition, and we're going to create our first set of program blocks. It started. We'll place a normally open contact in this first block here. We will also have that output to some coil. We need to assign a reference address to this push button. So when we double click it, we can add a variable here and let's call this start PB. And then this will be our first output. So I'm going to call this our main app. When you click on your start PB, you should be able to see in the inspector that it has no reference address. So you can hit the triple arrows and where it says memory address, this is going to be a discrete input. And we need to index that to a certain area. 114 is the second switch. So I'm going to put it on the first switch and go to 113. It's already assigned to another variable when I was practicing, which is no problem. We need to then go to our variables and we can delete anything. Else. So now I just have my two variables in this list for our start push button and our main out. So now when I click my start PB, I can go back to that reference address and make sure on my discrete input, I can assign that to the first push button. And now that's successful. Our output reference address will be on our discrete output. And I'll ind index that to the one. And that works. In our project, if you want to check your addresses, you can always go to your CPE. And see where uh, your addresses are for your analog inputs. And then you can go to, let's say our MDL 754 module. The reference address starting is Q0001. Okay, so that's we know that's our first output. I'll go back to my main logic and we can test this program out real quick uh, just by going to our target and I'll make sure it's powered on. And I'm going to connect the controller once the CPU turns on. If we notice that our configuration is not equal and our logic is not equal. So I'm going to go into the programmer mode. Make sure that my controller is stopped. And from here, I will download. Make sure everything is checked and hit OK. Now at the bottom of my screen, I have a green target configuration equal logic is equal. And then enable outputs. And we can see when I push the switch, our main out turns on, turn it off and we're good. I'm going to stop the PLC and we're going to add a little more to this program. I'll disable the outputs. And I'm going to disconnect so that I can edit my program. This just makes it a little easier so that you're not live editing on the controller. Now for my start stop cycle, 
I need some sort of off position, so I'm going to use a normally closed. And then I also need a second rung down here uh, that is attached to this first ladder. So that's going to be a normally open as well, and I'm going to place that here. Let's see how it brings up my second rung. I actually want that attached to my first. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to place a wire here. And you can't place one in the first position. So we can just move that start button over. And then again, place a wire here. And now we can put another normally open contact attached to those wires. And then don't forget to connect right back. You can always copy and paste your ladder blocks back and forth. Now, the variable assignment for this is going to be our main out. Okay, that means that this will be attached to this input. For this, we're going to create a stop, and that will also be a push button. And that will be a new variable assignment. So when we click here, we need to give it a reference address. And this is an input, and that will be our second button. So right now, as stands, I should push start, and it should turn on my output. My main output then will also turn on here. And when I release this, my program should still be running. It can only be stopped now by pushing the stop push button. So let's go back to our target. Let's connect our target. And if we look, we need to make sure that we go back to programmer mode. Our configuration is equal, but our logic is not equal because we changed our program. So make sure it's stopped and we can download to the target. We'll hit OK. And if you look at our configuration now, looks like we have a fault. So let's start the controller enable the outputs and when I switch this guy on and off it works now when I turn off the push button the program is still running so regardless of what I do with start it only turns it on and then the program runs when I push stop it then breaks this wrong and I have no output. I need to disengage the stop and then I can run the start one more time and I can let go of the start and my program is still running. Stop will turn it off and I need to make sure I disengage that before I turn the program back on. Everything's working accordingly. Let's see if any of the faults are affecting our program. We can double click the controller to get to the fault table we can see controller faults, we've got no battery signal, and we've changed the memory. And let's look at I.O. and make sure there's no faults. Okay, it looks like we have a reference address here. And we may have had some outputs on when we turned it on. Let's clear this. and we'll clear the controller fault as well. And now we can go back to our main block and we have a nice start-stop function. Don't forget to save this.